Because I read that you grew up in Michigan. Yes. And uh, you grew up a Muslim. Yes. Are you still a Muslim? Yes. And well, quote unquote. Who does that mean? That means that I'm not, I don't like labels of religion because I believe that religion is like man-made um, system of rules. And I believe that the labels that we all have is what's dividing us. And so the, I'm going back to the actual meaning of what must the, it's an Arabic word. What does it mean? It means a peaceful person. Were you a Christian before you became a Muslim or were you always a Muslim? My mother was. A Christian? Yes. And then she met this man because your father left or something, right? My father, yeah. What was I found out later was my biological father uh, was he told me he, would, he liked to go back and forth to school, which was prison. <laughs> so he said, oh. I wanted the things that I want. I was young and my mother didn't know either that what happened to him, he kind of just disappeared, you know, and he would, that was, he said, those was my issues that he was I in would, and out of I prison. Would, he was in and out. Oh. And my mother, she was going from church to church. Right. And so then she was trying to find her own way. She became Muslim before she met um, my father. So I have my biological father now. So, I, so your mother was a Christian. Yes. She met your biological father. They made you. Was he a Christian? Yes. Okay. But he was in and out of jail, so she went looking for something. And, and going to church, she didn't find it. Right. And so she went to a Muslim church. Am I right? She went to, um, she moved into a neighborhood in Highland Park, Michigan. Right. And she started seeing them. So the pastor yeah. told her, because she said, every time I go to church, I'm like, she's young. She said, I, I'm just not, I don't know what it is. I'm looking for the, I'm looking for something, you know, to touch my spirit. And so then the, the, the pastor told her, said that just keep praying to God for guidance and keep going, just keep going. And so then when she moved over into this neighborhood, she saw all of these Muslims and she was like, I wonder what is it about them? What do they do? <laughs> yeah. Right. And um, they were uh, and she, they were a lot of black people. And so they had businesses and they had their own school and their own. So she was like, oh, they look like they, they they look like they take care of business. So she went to ask questions. And when she did, she, she liked it. She said she didn't find it too much different from Christianity far as. Um, back then, we wasn't using the words morals, but she said all of the, 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 the rules was the same. Yeah. You know, love each other, be kind to each other. She, she was like, oh, I like that. And so then that's when she started hanging and she became a Muslim and started hanging around the Muslims. And I was four and a half, five years old. Yeah, five, I read that. Was your, so your father and mother never married? They didn't marry. Oh, okay. Yes. And then she meet this Muslim man. Yes. And he became your step. She married him, and he became your stepfather. Yes, That's he was a new convert also. Oh yeah, because he was also so. It's so amazing this story. Um, is because he was searching, also. Like he said, he had been in the army. He, you know, he had a bachelor's in music, and he was like, man, this something is wrong. Like, and he was looking for himself where he wanted to connect at the same time, and. He ended up in the, at the same place. Amazing. <laughs> right. And then yeah. they started talking to each after some time, um, they started talking to each other. Oh, I see. And yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. How did he treat you while growing up? Oh, man. He, it was, uh, I'm so grateful for him as a father. He was strict in the ruling, but not as loving. He just, it was just, I mean, to be honest, to this day, that guy is my hero, man. He's not with us anymore. Um, but he's, a, he's amazing. He's just a, 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 yeah, What do you mean not as strict and loving? I mean, not I mean, as loving. Like strict far as God said, don't do it. Don't we not doing this? Like you need to be reading and writing. You need to like, I wanted to play and have so much more fun, but he's like, you need to be learning business. You need to learn how to count. You need, you know, uh, so, and you need to stay in shape. What are you doing? Like, so he didn't have so, any love though. He was just straight with the Muslim thing. No, that was, that was the, he had all the, that was his love. Oh, that's what he called, he thought was love. Yeah, he oh. was, it was, um, it was really, truly amazing. And uh, he wasn't like a big hugger, but he was affectionate. Like he would always make sure that he would give you affection. Oh, I see. You know, yeah, so. And so did he have more kids with your mother? Yes. 
How many they have? Man, it's 10. Whoa. I know. Hey, what's your line? Amazing. amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. And so were you close to your natural father? No, because I didn't know him. Really? I didn't know him. I, we didn't know what happened to him. That guy, he totally disappeared for, wow, I would say I just got a hold of him or he just got a hold of me um, just this year. That's amazing. It is amazing. April of 2020. Are you glad to hear from him? I am. I'm happy yeah. to hear from him. Yeah. I'm like, oh, man. And I understand. Right. You know, I mean, you know, when you live life and you understand, you don't walk around with all of this negative energy inside of you. Life happens. So. So now that he's in, in touch with you, do you feel like this is my father and you're happy to see him? I'm happy to see him. And I know that this is my biological father. I'm I'm like, so I don't have any resistance, you know, oh, but we got to build a relationship because I don't really know him. I would like to know what he likes. Like when I think about him, I know what he likes, but I know that I know everything about my stepfather. Right. You know what right. I mean? So I just have to build that. But the coronavirus and the pandemic. And so then we haven't officially came together because when uh, he contacted me on Facebook, I hadn't seen that message because I don't be checking my Facebook messages. I'm sorry. Yeah. I um, for mean. months. And so then finally, I was like, what? Check that out. It's nice. You got married. I read. You were married once. Yes. And then while married to one woman, you married another one. I did. You got married at 19? 17. Got married at 19 with the first woman. 17 with the first one. And then 19 with the second one. Yes. Well, that's because you were a Muslim? That, partially. We, we, blamed, we, we blamed it on being Muslim, you right? <laughs> so, so that we can excuse, like what I find that a lot of people do religiously, you know, because we weren't legally married. Um, so like- You weren't legally married to either one of the women? Right. So Did they both live in the same home with you? No. They so, each had their own homes, um, each had their own environments, their own- And did they, they know you were involved with both of them? Yes. Really? Yes. So you were like, go and be with one, and then, hey, good night, I'm going to be with Sally? Huh? Yes. Sister Sally. I mean, pre pretty much. But you were legally married to either one? Right, no. Under the Muslim law, were you legally married? Under, under legal Muslim law, yes. Oh, I see. Like, it's like if you're at the church, the community recognizes that this is your spouse. And that you have more than one. And that you have more than one. So then the community is holding you responsible for caring for them if you take on this responsibility. So the, the rule is, if you want to have more women, you got to make sure that you honor and take care of them mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and financially, and, uh, and sexually, of course. So if, you, if you're doing that, then you're going to be successful. If you're not, then the whole community, they they, you know, they like, hey, what's going on? You know, like they she's not happy. You? Yeah, oh. she's not happy. They, you know, somebody has to hold you accountable for you adopting to live this lifestyle to care for more than one woman at a time publicly. Why did you think you wanted more than one? You know, it was happening all around me, and so I mean, I was indoctrinated with the idea of more. You know, I mean, like with I was actually I was indoctrinated with the you could do this under the laws of God, but really myself, you know, not even blaming anything on that, like when I come to know, it was just because I wanted more. It was like, yeah. ooh, is, is she's cute, <laughs> oh, and then she's cute, and yeah. if they say that I can have it, yay, that's, that's telling the truth. How many children do you have? I have six children. Whoa. I know. I have three younger children and three older children. So from those marriage, well, from those marriages, I have uh, I got men, twenty-seven year old. Do I look like I got twenty-seven? No. Yeah. No, I got all. twenty-six and a twenty-five year old. Whoa. Yeah. And so, how old are you? I'm forty-five. And so you have six children by these two different women. Yeah. Well, three by those two different. I, I'm grateful. I started over, like in life. So my children now, they're four, nine, and 12. By, by a third by, woman? By, yes. Yeah. So that didn't work. How many work. wives did you get? That didn't work out. That I, was, I, I ran away. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, I was like, I woke up one day. As I was going after uh, 
my career. And I was like, man, this is, this is, this, I'm not able to do this. I didn't even want to do this. Meaning so, that you couldn't have it, you couldn't Yeah, do it. I didn't know. It was like, How many wives did you have at one time? Just two. Just two. Yeah. And you realize you could not handle two at one time? Yeah, it's a lot of responsibility, yeah. man. It's yeah. like, and people don't, they all, it's not like far as the, the rules behind it is, you really have to be caring and looking <laughs> and be present. It's not like with the idea that, oh, he got a girlfriend over there and he got a girlfriend over there. It's not the same. Like, this is, you're building, this is full on relationships that wow. you're building with individuals and the pressure is everybody knows about it <laughs> right <laughs> so it's like it, it, you had to, man it, it take it takes a lot i ran away i, was, I left detroit i was like i can't do it anymore so this was in, in uh, this area what's the name of the area that you lived in uh, this was now in the west side of detroit oh okay yeah and so your two women knew about each other Yes. And so when you guys will meet up at church, you're like, hey, how y'all? Come on in, honey. Yeah, yes, yes. Really? Yes. They got along with one another? Uh, they, I would say they didn't get along, but they didn't fight. You know, they just, it was a respectful, how you doing? How you doing? Oh. You know I mean? All right, all right. And so by well, those two women, you have how many kids? That's the three children and my first far as my first relationships go. So the first woman you were, you got three with her? No, like I only have six total. Oh, so how many you so have with the two I got, women? I have, I have my oldest son's 27. With the wife, with, with the first then, wife. And then my 26 year old, and then with my, uh, the other wife, I have uh, one daughter. Oh, and so with this new woman you were, you have three kids? Yes. Oh, and are you married to her? Yes, but I didn't, I never, I, after that, after, I legally married afterwards, but then I didn't legally married anymore. Ooh. So I'm, I'm, right now, I'm not legally married. To the woman you were. Right. But you have three kids with her. Yes. Amazing. Um. So, <laughs> what a mess. So let me ask, these two women that you were with at the same time, Yes. did you just run away or did you say bye or I can't handle this or well, no, did you, you just leave? You can't just leave them with, you know what, what happened with me yeah. uh, because of all of this, <laughs> this frivolous lifestyle I wanted to live, I became a single father in Los Angeles with me and my three children. And so for four and a half years, it's just me and the kids. Oh. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah, but it was like I had no idea what women go through. It made me get on the phone and call and say, <laughs> hey, listen, I apologize. To the first two women. I apologize to you. All of the women that I ever met, that I ever talked to, oh. I was just calling women out of the blue. <laughs> that I, Listen, you know, I, was, I apologize to you. I'm sorry. Because I, I didn't know the, really the work that women actually go through. Like a, a woman's mind is so amazing because anything that she plans, it has to go around. If she has children, it goes around these children. And so being now that I'm in the father of just these children, I don't have any family members with me here in Los Angeles. Uh, that I couldn't, I couldn't get certain jobs. I couldn't take certain classes. Like I, I yeah. had to make sure that my whole schedule was around these yeah. children. And then I had to make sure that I plan the meals. And then I know they got, I got to go to the schools. And I, I they got parent teachers meeting. And I, I was like, wow. And it, it was such an eye opener for me. It helped change any bit of if I had any chauvinistic ideas in my mind or my head or <laughs> in my behavior. It changed all of it. So you sent them back? No, I kept them. I wanted to send them back, but they wouldn't leave. <laughs> so I was like, I told my daughter, I said, listen, um, I might have to send you home. And she was like, wow. I was like, baby, I'm only feeding you ramen noodles. And she looked at me and she said, what's wrong with the noodles? Amazing. And I was like, oh, it crushed me, man. And yeah. I was like, OK. I'm committed, I'm, 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 I'm doing this, like, you know, and that four and a half years later, man, it was, uh, it was beautiful that me and my children, they grew up with me, my older yeah. children, they grew up with me, and we have such a bond that's like... So it, they're still here in L.A.? Yes, well, one went back to Detroit because he wanted to be with his mom. He missed his mom. He's oh. 26, oh, okay. you know, uh, but yeah. How old is your daughter two, now? My daughter's 25. 
So let me get something straight. So <laughs> you, here you are, Muslim. You have two women. Yes. What you call wives. Right. How did you tell them that I'm leaving? I don't want to do this anymore. Are you trying to do this, Jesse? What? Are you trying? Are you you want to do this? Oh, See, that, I'm giving you the blueprint. Okay, oh. let me tell you. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to, I was like, who are you leaving right now, Jesse? Who are you trying to leave? <laughs> no. <laughs> I said, look, I went to them and was like, look, I'm not, I, I'm not ready. I'm just, I, I can't do this anymore. And they, they both was already, was grateful because they were like, we was tired of it anyway. They were tired like, of it They too. was tired of me because one, I oh. wasn't really, uh, I wasn't a bad husband. I've always been a nice guy, but it was just, you know, things wasn't progressing. Right. You know, and there was a lot of pain involved and they were making a lot of sacrifice at the same time. So were they you know, older or younger than you? Younger by a year. Oh, uh, okay. One by a year. And so they were OK years. with you leaving them. Well, we kind of parted. We were like because they were like frustrated with me. We were already kind of on the outs. Oh, OK. You know, like and then my son's mom was like she was really fed up with it. She left to stay like I'm out she moved out but wasn't technically like splitting from me it was like a separation um and then she was just growing in a, in that whole area oh, with I her see. family and then the other one she was trying she was like she saw potential in me she was trying to hold on with me for a while and I just had to fess up and was like I just I just can't do this anymore so I and we parted and then sometime I left Detroit